So there's this guy on the internet named Kyle McShore Films who makes these animations that feel like collages in motion. And people often ask him to make a proper tutorial on how he does what he does. And he hasn't yet. So I thought I would show you how to do it because, well, I am him. <laughs> All right, so what you're gonna need for this tutorial is some kind of video editing software. Um, I use Final Cut Pro to make all my animations and that is not because it is the best for this type of stuff, but I do so because it is the software that I've used for over a decade to make short films and music videos. And it's where I feel most comfortable in. Also, I kind of became an animator by accident. So the fact that a lot of people on the internet want me to even make a tutorial is pretty surreal, but I'm excited to do it. Okay, so first we are going to start a new project. We're going to do it as uh, in vertical form because this is a mixed media piece that will eventually end up on TikTok or Instagram. Um, I'm going to keep it simple uh, using five assets to make this. Over the last couple of years, I've been going through a number of old magazines and scanning them to my computer. This way I could use a certain thing over and over in my work. Like I like my mixed media pieces to feel like one, like they could be one big piece. And so I don't shy away from using the same asset twice. Okay, so first I'm gonna use this woman in the ocean as the background for this piece. And I'm gonna take this other picture of this woman wearing a hat as uh, the main subject. And I'm gonna use the draw mask tool, which is really important to this whole project. I'm gonna use that pretty often, this effect. And I'm gonna put that on the layer of this woman with a hat on. And I'm gonna draw a mask around her, kind of like it's cut out with scissors. I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to feel like handmade. Then I'm gonna duplicate this layer and now invert the mask on one of those layers. And what that basically does is it makes the background and the woman separate, two separate layers. Then I'm gonna adjust how I want uh, the background of her and then adjust the, the, the ocean background. And next I am going to draw a third mask. So I'm gonna put another layer <laughs> this time on specifically the woman with the hat. I'm gonna draw a mask around her face and I'm gonna duplicate <laughs> that layer and invert it. Because basically what I'm gonna do next is make it so that I could kind of pull away this layer of her face um, off towards the screen. And what I'm doing is basically creating keyframes using the transform tool to basically start at one section and end at another section. And also I'm gonna use the color effect on each layer to kind of change them so they feel like this kind of, I don't know, unique color experience, if you will. And with each layer, I'm basically making it start and end at a different spot. Now I'm gonna take the sunflower over here and I'm gonna put it underneath what I've already made. Um, kind of adjust it to where I think it looks cool. And now I'm gonna use these students. I'm gonna grab the draw mask tool and I'm gonna cut out the section of just the students. And I'm going to put this at the bottom of my mixed media piece, um, which I think it looks pretty cool here. And then this woman who's in a car. Uh, also, I think this will be a cool thing to use. Um, okay, so with this layer, what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to rescale it, um, change the position, <laughs> and basically I'm going to duplicate this layer then use the flipped effect here and I'm gonna combine these two cars together and make it one compound clip and then I'm gonna rescale that and position it on top of this woman's hat and this is where it gets really fun is like duplicating these over and over and like rescaling and creating basically a hat <laughs> out of these cars um, and you know you mess around with it to your desire. Um, I'm gonna change the color on these different layers to kind of give it some kind of like depth 
to it. So then I'm going to group all of these different cars into one compound clip. Uh, and the next step is basically how I'm going to incorporate this uh, picture of space. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it into like a, a border to put behind uh, to kind of create a frame within a frame. Um, I often like to do that in my pieces. So once we have that in the background, um, things are starting to shape up here where we have this animation of the face and now it's time to animate other aspects of this piece. Um, so I'm gonna create some motion with the cars using keyframes um, changing the positions at different spots and uh, also changing the background behind this woman. And with that, I'm using the scale and starting at one position and then gently decreasing the scale. Um, and I'm realizing that this is like super complicated. And uh, if it's really confusing to you, please leave me some comments and tell me uh, what you need help with figuring out. Um, because this is definitely not the easiest way to <laughs> make an animation. Um, I'm just trying to give you a little taste inside my head. <laughs> um, but yeah, then basically what I usually do is I'll create a compound clip of the whole entire thing. And I'll duplicate that whole clip and put it together and reverse one of the clips. So it makes this motion where it goes back and forth. Yeah, so more or less this is what my process looks like. And um, this is my first proper attempt to make a tutorial. And instead of making like a course and putting it behind a paywall, I wanna try to make more of these on YouTube. So um, I just ask if you dig this, uh, please subscribe. And um, yeah, leave any comments uh, of questions you have that maybe I can make more clear in a future video. All right, thank you so much for watching.